What is this place? Such pain. Such sorrow. Oh, my dear children. It can't be. Mother Heidelin, hearken unto your children's plea. From two worlds do we gather, and from two worlds do we offer a bounty of light. In this desperate hour we do beseech your intercession. We beg an audience with the word of the mother, with your chosen Minfilia. Your cries go not unheard, nor your sacrifices unnoticed. Though many are lost, there are those we can yet save, whom I can yet save. Minfilia. Blessed children of the first, the light of your world hath grown blinding in its radiance, but it is not yet absolute. I will hie me to your world, and there take unto myself the light which riseth even now to drown it, as darkness once did drown another. Now you deign to answer our prayers? I will suffer this farce no longer! As the Asians must serve as instruments of Zodiac's will, so too must others carry out the will of Hydaelyn. But for the boon you have granted her, she has grown strong enough to set me free, that I might serve as her emissary. Your suffering, your sacrifice, your supplications, she has heard all. We will not let the first fall to light. Thank you, Urianger, for bringing everyone here. It fills my heart with joy to look upon the faces of my friends once more. In taking you unto her bosom, I knew that Hydaelyn had bequeathed to you a sliver of her grace, granting you strength long sought. And in treating with the Asians, I learnt of a star like unto our own, a doomed world of fallen heroes in whom I glimpsed ourselves, the first. Full long did I search for a means to save this world, concluding at the last that the answer lay in the power of blessed crystals. And thus did I labor to set light against dark. Yet I knew from the beginning that this salvation would not come without sacrifice. For the instrument of the first's deliverance would of necessity be required to journey thither, there to remain, mayhap forever. You orchestrated all of this not to save her, but to send her away! One life for one world. Such was the bargain, and you the coin, though it were not mine to spend. Have we not walked together in the light of the crystal, and at 
that her bidding borne witness to the joys and sorrows of this land. Each and every one of you knows my heart. If this be the price I must pay, I pay it gladly. You would go alone, then? My dearest Thancred, you who have ever watched over me, I am truly grateful for all you have done on my behalf, as would my father be. Your kindness, your compassion, your love. These are your gifts to me, and our gifts to them, forming a bond which transcends time and space. Sometimes I forget you are not the child I once knew. Make me proud. Long have I watched you from Hydaelyn's side. Watched as you nurtured and kept safe the light of the dawn. The dark recesses of the world hide untold secrets and dangers. Thus do I entrust to you, Tupsimati. I pray you, keep to the path that you may never have need of it. Hear me, servant of Hydaelyn. If you would have us place our trust in you, then I would ask a favor. Take us with you. Take us home. We were blind to the truth once, so I tell you this, as one fool to another. Light, dark, it doesn't matter. What matters is how you choose to use them. We made our choice and you see what came of it, so please, forge a different path. Seize a better fate. you depart, my heart filled with worry, and ever did you return to me in triumph. Someday, when I have found a way to free this star from her sorrow, I promise you I shall repay the favor. 